The scariest stories are the ones that are true. In 1988, a man was hiking along the trail when he underwent a traumatic experience perhaps more frightening than a ghostly encounter. He was hiking on the trail when he noticed a bright light coming from the forest next to him. Not wanting to bother anyone, he didn't investigate, but set up camp somewhere close by. He awoke in the middle of the night to find a man standing over his hammock. Startled, the man quickly fled and yelled to unseen people that the hiker was awake. The hiker was terrified and quickly packed up to put as much distance between them as possible. A few days of non-stop hiking finally allowed the hiker to relax a little bit, but that night, he was sleeping in his hammock when suddenly he was cut down, wrapped up, and dragged away. He was beaten mercilessly while the people shouted at one another as they were preparing something. Luckily, the hiker was able to cut through the hammock and escape. Even though he made it back to civilization, police inquiries into finding the people who kidnapped him came back with nothing. A young couple was hiking on the Appalachian Trail in the southern part of Virginia when experienced something they could not explain. While they were asleep in their tent one night, they suddenly woke up to the sound of rustling and odd noises coming from outside their tent. The man went out to investigate and managed to scare off some figures he saw lurking around. He almost chased after them, but then decided against it. Children usually make everything creepier, and that's what makes this man's tale even more frightening. By his account, he was backpacking along the Appalachian Trail with a few people, when something bizarre happened. He and his group awoke one morning to find their campsite surrounded by a thick mist. As they were packing up, they started to hear children's laughter coming from all around them. Once they were about done packing up, a group of children led by one parent walked out of the mist and started to walk past the group. The kids asked the backpackers where they were going, and someone responded that they were hiking the Appalachian Trail. The kids started to laugh and one of them said, this isn't the Appalachian Trail, and kept walking. Throughout the day, the campers could hear the children giggling all around them. In May 1972, a hiker saw a ghost from another time. The hiker was walking alone and noticed a heavy ground fog had started to surround him. He looked up and saw a person walking with a heavy coat and wide-brimmed hat. The man slowly staggered about looking at the ground as if he was looking for something he had lost. The man started walking toward the hiker, still looking down at the ground, so the hiker moved to avoid him. When they were close to each other, the man suddenly looked at the hiker, who instantly became afraid of the man's cloudy, blue eyes that stared straight through him. He was also shocked to realize that the man's clothes all seemed to come from a different time period. The hiker tried to say hello but the man did not respond. After the hiker walked a little distance, he turned back only to discover the man had completely disappeared. A man was hiking along Pierce Pond in Maine when he experienced a fright that he'll never forget. One night, he was enjoying his campfire, when he suddenly spotted a figure walking a short distance away from his campsite. It was ghostly in appearance and looked like a woodsy outdoorsman type with what appeared to be fishing gear. It wasn't long before the figure faded into the night. The man didn't know what to think of it, but the next night, the ghostly figure returned, only this time, it stopped to stare at the hiker. Getting the message, the hiker abandoned his camp and ran off into the forest. He hid behind a tree and waited until morning to return, pack up his stuff, and get out of there quickly. Sometimes ghosts don't have to do much to be creepy. A young girl who was hiking with her parents experienced her first ghostly encounter after they stopped to camp for the night. Her father was fast asleep, but something was frightening her and she couldn't keep her eyes shut. The next morning, she found her mother and asked if they could go for a walk. While out exploring, her mother suddenly stopped. The girl followed her gaze and saw a hazy apparition standing against a tree not too far away. It was a man who looked calm and sad. After a tense few moments, the man just faded away, leaving the mother alone with her child. In 2011, a man took a week off of work to go hiking along the Appalachian Trail, but it turned into a frightening experience he would never forget. One night, 
he heard noises coming from outside his tent but didn't bother to go out to investigate. The following night, he was sitting around his fire, when suddenly he was shocked to see a man standing near his firewood. His hands and body were badly burned and his face was smoking. The man was too afraid to even move and the burned figure just stared at him with vacant eyes before walking away. This scared the man beyond all reason and he quickly packed up to leave the area. While leaving the trail, he came across a recently burned down house with a sheriff around it. The sheriff told the man that four days prior, the same day that the hiker started his trip, an entire family burned alive in the house. Now is this true? Probably not, as it's a story we've all heard before, but it shows how ghost stories have the ability to adapt to their surroundings. In this case, the Appalachian Trail served as an effective backdrop. The next night, they made camp with their backs to a cliff in order to be prepared. They both slept with guns next to them and sure enough, the figures returned. Once the man announced they were armed, the figures retreated. The next day, the couple hustled to get out of there. Around midday, they rounded a corner and saw a silhouette of a figure standing in the distance, watching them from afar. They quickly were able to get off the trail and back to civilization, but the whole time they felt they were being watched. <laughs>